The light speed racing team competed against the shadow racing team, led by a pair of twins, in the qualifying round. The shadow racing team's teamwork was incredible, and Yun Feng and the rest were left behind right from the start. Tian Xiang was eager to win, and rode ahead alone, leaving his team behind. Unexpectedly, he was the first to cross the finishing line. Then, during the battle round, faced with almost insurmountable obstacles, Tan Zhang sacrificed his bullet racer to help his team gain victory. Welcome to the Dragon Boat Stadium, ladies and gentlemen. We're here to watch the matchup we've all been waiting for. A huge clash between the Demon God Racing Team and the Beast Racing Team. Who will win? Will it be the favorite, the Demon God Racing Team, or the underdog, Beast Racing Team, that have fought hard to stay in the tournament? There's only one place left in the finals. Who will get it? Now I know you know the answer, but keep it to yourself. And remember, things can change quickly on the track, and in the blink of an eye, almost anything can happen. As the old saying goes, Anything is possible on a U-shaped racetrack. Yeah! Huh? What are Beast Racing Team wearing? They look totally ridiculous. Hey, don't underestimate them. Black Hawk and Chen Shun are incredible racers. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> well, they're dressed like animals, so will they be using their teeth and claws against us? <laughs> hey, be careful, Yun Feng. You can't judge them by their looks. Don't forget that they just beat the Dark Sky Racing Team a little while ago. Only because Mu Ying Tai set out. Hey, that's enough talking. Look, oh. they're about to start. Sir, there's no element of suspense in this competition. You didn't need to come. The Beast Racing team got lucky when they beat Dark Sky, but they're still a strong team. I'm sure they're going to win today, but that's not why I'm here, actually. I'm here for an entirely different reason. Yes, I see. So why are you here? The Demon God Racing Team are basically in the finals, yet every one of them are busy training at every single opportunity. I want to understand why. I suppose it's like insurance. Better to be overprepared than underprepared. Training just doesn't mean maintaining your skills, you fool. My purpose is to nurture and develop their demonic characters. Oh. I don't want them showing any mercy when faced with a weak or frail opponent. Well, guys, we've worked so hard for so long to get this far. Our work can't end here. We'll show them the true natural power of the people from the forest. You bet. Like frogs in a pot, they have no idea. They're about to find out just how brutal a bullet racer competition can be. Ah. Let the speed race portion of the battle begin now. Yeah! Ooh. The Team of God Racing Team are proving themselves again. Right now, they're leading the race. They're so organized, they've broken into two teams and created a figure eight formation. <laughs> At the front of the pack are Zhou Xiaowan, General Halbert, and Zian's Demon Sky. Meanwhile, Blackhawk, Soaring Falcon, and Chen Shun's Wind Splitting Cheetah are Time trying to, to catch up. Here I go! Wind Splitting Cheetah! Uh -huh. What a move! A push from his teammate Chen Shun's wind splitting cheetah and Black Hawk Soaring Falcon flash forward. This cut wind splitting cheetah's speed, but now Soaring Falcon is broken into the Demon God formation. Well, look at this! Wind splitting cheetah is being pushed forward by his other teammates. What a strategy! In the speed racing round, this tactic lets us compensate for our lack of overall speed and guarantees two of our bullet racers a lead by blocking two of their racers at the same time. Wowza, that was unexpected. Well, I guess they had no other choice but to do that. The functional and technical design of the Beast Team's bullet racers is way behind the Demon God racing teams. They've got to break through the blockade in front of them now or they're out for sure. They're trapped right now. Boxed in from the front and from behind, it's a bad situation. is exactly the same as the one Tan Zhong used against the Shadow Racing team before. Make sacrifices to gain victory. No, there's a huge difference between the two. I got lucky. While the Beast Racing team are actively adopting this strategy, I think it's the right idea at the right time. 
<laughs> Are you serious? Why didn't I see it before? I'm actually amazed that you notice anything. Ah, Tia Chow, don't you dare talk to me like that. I'm your captain, you hear? Enough. Stop messing around. This is important. The Beast Team's bullet racers are inferior to those of their opponents, but instead of modifying their machines, they're using strategies to make up for their weaknesses. That's something we need to think about. Well, they can't just beat the Demon God Racing Team on strategy alone. Yeah, he's right. If there's too much difference in speed or efficiency, then even the best strategies won't change the outcome. Our team and the Demon God Racing Team both have limitations in terms of our strategies, but the functionality of our bullet racers is about the same. So if we can develop a good strategy, that might give us the edge over them. Uh-oh. It looks like the Demon God Racing Team is waiting for them to catch huh? up. This is bad. I think it's a trap. Oh, how annoying. The Beast Team appears to have come up with a creative solution. Oh my, if this keeps up, they may overtake their opponent. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll find a way to deal with them. Uh, this is a good opportunity for the Demon God Racing Team to practice their ability to improvise. Remember, they need to work on their teamwork as well as their individual skills. If they depend only on speed, then it will be an easy win for them, and that's not what I want to see. No, far from it. I want to see what they're really capable of. <laughs> Sorry, but it's time for us to blow you out of the jungle. What's going on? What the heck is happening? <laughs> Centrifugal force of the curve. The Demon God Racing Team's two bolt racers are pressed up against Soaring Falcons. The three bolt racers have blocked the entire track, and it looks like the damage to Soaring Falcon is bad and getting worse. Windsplit and Cheetah's right behind, but can't help out. And folks, this race is almost over. And there it is. Joe Shaw Wan and DS Demon Sky cross the finish line in front as they've been throughout. What a race! Wow! <laughs> That's the end of the speed racing round. Take a look at the big screen for the replay. A difference of four seconds. Looks like the Beast Racing Team's smart strategy was a failure. The Demon Gods Racing Team wins the round. And it's one nothing. You know, if they hadn't blocked the track, Soaring Falcon wouldn't have been damaged. Those guys did that on purpose. Of course they uh, did it on purpose. That's obvious. They purposely selected a formation that would maximize the damage to Team Beast uh, bullet racers. <laughs> now they're laughing. They can't get away with that. I'm afraid there's more to come, too. In the battle round, the two bullet racers from Team Beast will have to fight the entire Demon God Racing Team. But that's not fair. They're being bullied. There's nothing they can do. This is a competition. Brother, is this really the kind of competition you look forward to? <laughs> Unbelievable. Next up is the decisive, the exciting, the brutal battle round. Soaring Falcon and Windsplit and Cheetah from the Beast Racing Team will battle Raging Electric, Dark God General Halbert, and Demon Sky from the Demon God Racing Team. It's clear that there's a massive strength gap between the two teams, but it's also clear that the Beast Racing Team is determined to fight it till the end. The light has come on. Let the battle begin! Don't give up, okay? We've trained for this for a long time. Don't forget that. It doesn't matter how strong they are. We have to fight hard, or Soaring Falcon's sacrifice will have been in vain. We need to avenge him and attack. Let's do this! Strategy. 
easily warding off Wind Split and Cheetah's first round attack. Now it joins its teammates in attacking the damage soaring Falcon. Ha <laughs> Looks like they're using all their power to crush their opponents one at a time! Joint attack by the Demon God Racing Team's four bullet racers was unavoidable. Soaring Falcon is crushed under a pillar, and there's nothing they could have done about that. Now let's see how the final racer and Beast Racing Team will fare. You're about to see the true power of the Beast Racing Team! We're splitting shadows! <laughs> You're out of your depth, kid. Let me handle this one. Not worth wasting my time on. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Uh -huh. It looks like this competition is over. No, it's not over yet! Huh? Wind Splitting Cheetah! Huh? Huh? Ah! <laughs> well, it was a controversial tactic, but it worked! This thrilling competition between the Beast Racing Team and the Demon God Racing Team is over, with the Demon God Racing Team winning a decisive victory. We lost? You okay? I just can't believe they beat us so quickly. Don't get depressed now. We'll avenge you in the finals. I swear it. Just make sure you protect your bullet racers or you'll end up like us. If only we'd been a bit more careful, then Soaring Falcon and Wind Splitting Cheetah wouldn't have been... Pigs! Dogs! They're a bunch of no-good cheaters. Hey, cheaters! Hmm? Stay where you are. I challenge you to a competition. Sure, the Beast Racing Team's outfits may be beyond ugly, but you shouldn't have done that to their bullet racers. You guys crossed the line. <sighs> Easy, Yunfeng. You don't have to be like that. Don't forget now, we're meeting them in the finals. We'll crush them dead. Hey, Chu Dali. What? You got somebody to say? Why did you do that to them? What? It's a competition and we beat them. You didn't have to destroy their bullet racers. That was cowardly. <clears throat> Yeah, that was a fierce fight, all right. I'm looking forward to seeing it again. You put them up to this, didn't you? Wasn't it enough to just beat them with your skill? Why did you have to destroy their bullet racers? Everyone knows that bullet racers are like close friends, partners, comrades in arms. How could you do this to them? That was just... Calm down, Yunfeng. Take it easy. There's no point in talking to him. Tell me something. Did the Demon God Racing Team break any <laughs> rules during the competition? <laughs> um... I don't think so, no, but in fact, I'm quite sure they didn't. Not at all. 
You'd better not show your face in Dragon Boat Stadium again! If you do, Storm Archer will be next on the chopping block. Consider yourself warned. If something bad happens to you, you'll only have yourself to blame. Huh. Guess we'll be seeing you. No offense, but you seem very relaxed. Shouldn't you be training for the finals or something? Oh. This is just in. The finals of the Grand Annual Bullet Racer Federation Cup have been postponed. <gasps> Due to unforeseen circumstances, the highly anticipated finals are being pushed back a few days. What? Stay tuned as we bring you the latest updates. <sighs> Hi, Fung here. I just heard the news. The decision to postpone was made by the organizer, and it's final. Why? Don't know. They didn't give any official reason, and I don't know if it'll be good or bad for us. I bet Mr. Jin is behind this. Whatever it is, I think we should just carry on our regular training. Since we have more time now, we can come up with some better strategies. Mm. Good thinking, Yanhui. I'm with you on this. See you at training later. Okay. See ya! <sighs> I wonder how long we're gonna have to wait this time. Who is it? It's me, Mr. Jin. Come in. Sir, I've just heard some disturbing news. Yes. I asked him to postpone the finals for a while. I see. Is that a video of the Lightspeed Racing Team? It is. Sit down and watch it with me. Why? Xiao Tuan, I'm assuming you understand the situation. His improvement rate is extremely impressive. Is that what you mean? Are you worried that I'm going to be defeated, or is this about something else entirely? No. I'm not worried about him right now at all. But neither do I want to take any chances, see? You're finally back home again. It's been so boring here without you. Come in, Grandpa's been missing you. Grandpa, look who's oh. finally home. Oh, hello there. I didn't expect you back so soon. Uh, hi, Grandpa. How you been doing? <laughs> oh, Grandpa's just fine. He's always doing some kind of research, and he's been super busy lately. <laughs> and she talks all the time. <laughs> I'll get you a bite to eat. Wait right here, okay? All right, give it to me, Strays. Why are you really here? I am... Um, well, I came back because I really need to improve myself. Grandpa, I need to learn more. I'm very glad to hear that. I've got all kinds of new things to show you that can improve the speed of your bullet racers. This will be very interesting. Grandpa, <laughs> I... Uh? I saw Tan Rong. I'm sorry to say, but, but he's now representing Mr. Jin. Oh. Huh? Uh, what are you two talking about, huh? What's wrong? Haven't you ever seen a fruit platter uh, before? Uh, come on, come on and eat and then uh, play with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Tan Rong was representing himself as well. The light speed racing team are about to battle against the demon god racing team. Yan Hui can't help feeling a sense of foreboding, knowing that he'll be up against his favorite Zhou Xiaochuan. Uncle Ma tries to help Yan Hui reason his way out of his quandary. Meanwhile, Tan Rong will be facing his nemesis, his brother Tan Zhang. Tan Rong also has a secret that he's hiding. How will he heal this hidden anguish buried deep inside his soul? Will he be able to keep it together when the going gets tough?